I would like to apologize for the audio in this video. It was windy and I had my finger over the mic at times, but I suggest you turn up the volume all the way, but please enjoy and don't forget to leave a like. Thank you. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I got another video for you guys today. Um, It is cold outside, so I'm gonna go ahead and make this quick. Uh, yeah, we'll just jump right into it. Um, so since I was last talked to you, got a few little upgrades. We got a live and lifted decal. I got a decal machine, so if you need custom decals, hit me up, let me know. Um, we made those stickers chrome, those decals chrome. Um, washed the truck today. I did make a video about washing the truck. Uh, I goofed on accident and deleted all that footage though. Yeah, it's pretty sad. But, anyways, uh, hard again. I'm gonna keep going, make another video, and take this channel a little more seriously. Yeah, so today I'm gonna be talking about my tires. I'm gonna be doing. There's like dirt falling out of that. I'm gonna be doing a review of the Nito Trail Blocker NT 35 by 1250 room 20 if it matters um they're nice i mean no comp no big complaints uh only complaints i would have are things that are like obviously like already a problem with a bunch of tires which is throwing rocks i mean i cleaned out all the rocks that were in them before the video i shouldn't have done that so i could demonstrate it but uh see this Th those those will catch right in there and then, or I was videoing like I don't know. They'll catch right in there and they throw up against my paint. And then I got a bunch of chips and scratches in my paint. And that sucks. That really sucks. Um, that's probably one complaint I would have. Complaint number two. They are loud. But what can you expect from an aggressive... I don't know what he said. Oh, yeah, we're not going to record that. I don't know what... You can't really expect anything else from a aggressive mud tire with big knobby tread. And, like, I mean, yeah, it's not really... It's a complaint, but I did it to myself kind of thing. So, that's probably... And they're heavy. 70 pounds. They're, they're pretty heavy. Truck doesn't struggle. It's just... It, gas mileage kind of sucks, but... Other than that, I mean, not really any complaints. Heavy throw rocks and are loud. Not horribly loud, though. Like, you can still have a conversation, but you can definitely hear them. And the difference between them and my Aturos is insane. These are so much louder. But, yeah, I mean, now moving on to the positives. So, probably some of the positive things is just they're nice. They're not falling apart, knock on wood. They're not, I have though, on, on the subject of they're not falling apart. The only reason they do this, there's those lines right there, is because I scrub tons and bumps. And I catch, you can't really see it, but there's a nice little sharp piece right there, and that loves to dig into my tires. But um, yeah, they're, they're a little cut up right there. Nothing, it's not that major. Um. Uh, they're not falling apart. There's not tar, or tar. There's not, um, rubber, like, clumps getting thrown up against my paint. There's not, there's, it doesn't, like, some tires will ride, like, bumpy, I guess you could say, and, like, shake the truck a little bit, or make it, like, an uncomfortable ride. They're not like that. They are a very aggressive-looking tire, which, to me, is a perk. It's a good, because I like it. There you go. I was going for an aggressive look. Um, yeah, other than that, I mean, the, sorry, I got sidetracked. I mean, other than that, I mean, the negatives, rocks, noise, and weight, that's about it. The positives are just aggressive, they're nice, they're, I mean, they're a name brand, they're holding up well, I mean, they have a ton of tread left, and I, I mean, 
they, they, they have some miles on them, so that's pretty good. I mean, can't complain, you know, cannot complain, and that's all that matters. So, I'm gonna just go ahead and get this video over with. And oh, it's a little ragged, but painted my this kit. Oh, that's not a chip, that's a bug. Oh, man. All right, well, I painted that. I like the way it looks. Um, oh, my control arms did come in. They're at my dad's house right now. I don't have them, but they came in. So this week, I'm on spring break leave, so we'll get those on this week. Get the red wheels back on, and we'll hit up with another video. Hit you up with another video. And I'm gonna go take a lot of truck pics. Once I get those red wheels on, I got a professional camera. Finally. Welcome to Panama City, mate. Just lifted trucks everywhere. It's, I love it. It's great. But, um, yeah, that's it for today's video. So, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Um, if you have any questions about anything, like a rock. As I'm talking, a rock. If you have any questions about anything, let me know. And, uh, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.